Sup guys, Mioni here, and I'm on the 5.3 public test realms for World of Warcraft. We're looking at patch content before it goes live, and today we're looking at the changes to Orgrimmar. So, you may distinctly notice that uh, our first look here is at Gammon. Now, Gammon has dinged to level 90, is a 90 elite with many millions of health, and he is surrounded by Corcoran elite. Now, if you remember, the Corcoran elite are Garrosh's private army from the Northrend campaign. And they're here, and uh, they're up to no good. And poor little Gammon is basically holding his own against them. He's a, the one that they think is stupid. Uh, they've got a, a huge sort of Hitler uh, purist of race sort of attitude, the Corcoran, and so is Garrosh. You know, they, they think lesser races, i.e. anything that isn't an orc, is lesser and, and frankly shit on the bottom of their boots. So Gammon isn't taking it, he's dinged up. And uh, unfortunately, the poor bugger is surrounded by all this Corcoran. But uh, we can actually attack Gammon still, only he will kick our faces in. He has a lot of HP and still hits like a truck. So if you did want to take him down, you'd probably have to get a raid group, as usual. As is the case every time there's an update where Gammon gets buffed. So if we go over to the Valley of Spirits, we will notice that what was once a troll district is now completely inhabited by the Corcoran elite. They've basically outlawed trolls from the city pretty much near enough, and the ones that are still in the city are under strict supervision, and some of them are imprisoned, in fact. But uh, the majority of the trolls have escaped and run back to Senjin Village, where we'll be seeing the uh, Battlefield Barons campaign, which will see Vol'jin actually rising up to march towards Orgrimmar and take it and kill the Corcoran and dethrone Garrosh eventually, probably. But uh, now we're going to fly outside, just in front of Orgrimmar. We're going to go to the left, and you'll see there's loads of Corcoran guards. Now, if we fly over here, you'll notice there's a Proto-Drake. Now, if you saw my previous video about the um, Ragefire secrets, uh, the secrets of Ragefire, sorry, uh, that scenario, you will notice that Garrosh actually got Proto-Drake eggs from... Um, obviously Northrend uh, at that sort of time. And the woman from the Dragonmoor clan who had that strange thing, uh, what was it, the dragon the dragon leash or something? Anyway, this item that she could use to tame dragons. So he, she's out here, the uh, leader of the Dragonmoor, and she is taming these proto-drakes. Essentially, Garrosh is building up an army of various unstoppable forces uh, so he can conquer the world. And as you can tell, it's not for the benefit of the Horde, it's more for the benefit of the true Horde, i.e. just pure Orcs. So we're returning to lore of, uh, of pretty much the Horde going towards just Orcs versus um, humans, which is like in Warcraft 3. However, this doesn't have to be the case, and the role of the player is to help Vol'jin secure all of this for the Trolls and to take down the Corcoran. And in the next video, we'll be looking at Battlefield Barons, which is the whole campaign behind this down south in Senjin Village and over in the Barons. But as for this video, my name has been Mioni. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you next time.